Welcome to part four of my solutions and concentration series. This is the final uh, concentration and molarity calculation of the bromophenol blue solution. Alright, so once again to figure out the molarity of bromophenol blue, I'm going to have to know, or bromophenol blue, cross that out, I need to know its formula. So doing some searches, or perhaps maybe it's on the chemical already, the formula for bromophenol blue, and this is a sodium salt, is C19H9Br4NaO5S. So this is telling me I have, in this one molecule of bromophenol blue, I have 19 carbon atoms, nine hydrogen atoms, four bromine atoms, one sodium atom, five oxygen atoms, and one sulfur atom. So now I know the chemical constituents of this formula and so I can calculate its formula weight. And then I can determine then how many grams I'm going to need to figure out what a mole is. All right, Because I want to know what 6.02 times the 23rd particles of bromophenol blue. I need to know how much mass I will need to get that. All right, so what we need to do is we need to take the element. I'm going to make a little chart here. I am going to take the number of atoms of that element per molecule, and then I'm going to take its atomic mass of that element. So we got carbon, hydrogen, bromine, sodium, oxygen, and sulfur. I have 19 carbons, 9 hydrogens, 4 bromines, 1 nit sodium, 5 oxygens, and 1 sulfur. I will take that times their atomic mass. So I'm going to use rough numbers here. Carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, so I'll multiply those. Bromine happens to be 80. Uh, sorry, sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is 32. So if I do our math, I'm going to get the sums of these. This will be 228 atomic mass units, 9, 320, 23, 80, and 32. So it's approximately 692. So what this is, this is how big the molecule is. It's 692 atomic mass units. Now remember, this is also equivalent to the number of grams per mole. So if I were to go to that balance, that analytical balance, and measured out 692 grams of this chemical, bromophenol blue, I would have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of bromophenol blue. Well, that's not what I did. So I need to figure out what I actually have in that mixture that I made. But what I do know is now how many grams it is per mole. So with that information, I can calculate how many moles my 0 0.144 grams was. All right. So let's go back to here. I have 0 0.144 grams of the bromophenol blue. All right. And I know that 692 grams per mole. So I want to be able to now do a calculation that I can figure out how many moles. So I can set up a proportion. So if I know one mole is equivalent to 692 grams, the question is, how many moles is my 0.014 grams? First thing you should do is pay attention to kind of reality, I guess, is this number is many times smaller than this. So I'm not going to get a big number as an answer. Right? This is really small, so I don't have anywhere close to one mole of my bromophenol blue. So I am expecting a small number. So if I do my cross multiplication, if I go in this direction, 
I'm going to take 692 grams times x moles is equal to 0 0.0144 grams mole. If I solve for x, I need to divide both sides by 692 grams. These will cross out, grams will cross out, and I'm going to be left with moles. And in this particular case, I am going to have uh, 0 0.0000208 moles of brown phenol blue. So if we look at this once again, one mole is 692 grams. So I'm asking the question, how many moles is my 0 0.0144 grams? If I set up my proportion, do my cross multiplication, I have 692 times x moles is equal to 0 0.0144 grams times mole. Divide by 692 on both sides so I can get just my x variable. And then I'm left with 0 0.0000208 moles. All right, this is kind of what I'm expecting, because remember, if we go back to here, this is really small compared to this, so I'm expecting a very small number. So now I need to take this number of moles and enter it into the other part of the equation. So molarity is equal to moles per liter. All right. And so in our case, Molarity is going to be equal to 0 0.0000208 moles. And I had 500 milliliters or 0 0.5 liters. And so when I solve for this, I get 41.6 micromolar. Okay, so I just kind of toss things up again. When I actually do the math, I will actually get 0 0.1234416 molar. This is not user friendly for us in the laboratory. So what I need to do is get this to a unit of measurement that makes sense to me. All right. So this is also equal to 0 0.0416 millimolar. I multiply it by a thousand, so I'm going to have more millis uh, in one mole, so it should be a bigger number. So I moved it over three positions, and that gave me millimolars. This still is in a form that I'm not quite comfortable with, so I'm going to multiply it by another thousand, and I'm going to get 41.6 micromolar. All right. And so the final concentration of my 144 grams of bromophenol blue in a 500 milliliter final volume is 41.6 micromolar.